Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to a rare plant haul. Before we begin, I'd like to thank Squarespace, who is our sponsor for today's video. If you do not know what Squarespace is, it is an all-in-one platform for creating and managing your very own website, but more on that a little bit later. I will make a couple of apologies in true Kaylee Allen style. I know everyone hates it when I apologize, but listen, my hair looks a bit shit. I think it's very humid in here and I wasn't prepared for it. It's so humid, right? Literally. This thing is broke. We can't see anything. I'm pretty sure I'm sat in about 25 degrees. Now, normally I'm used to it, but right now I'm not. I'm not used to this anymore at all. I feel very sticky, very hot, very just not good. Not only that, but the plants I have to show you today are not potted up. I'm going to be honest with you. They've come straight out of the box last night and I'm showing you them today before they even get removed and put in water. Normally I would put these in water anyway. If you've seen my rehabbing plants after shipping video, then you will know that I generally follow that rule, but they're not because they were very, very moist when they arrived last night. So I've left them as they are. Some of them are taking a bit of a dive, but that will become apparent. The cool thing about this plant haul today is that everything bar like two things are variegated. And it's very, very exciting because I don't think there is a single plant in here that I have had in my shop before. There is one plant in this list I do believe that I have had before. Let me check to make sure I'm not lying to y'all. Yeah, one plant that I've had before and I have a total of seven plants. So not a ton of plants, but I, I spent a bit of money, you feel me? This is a bit more about quality than quantity. And yes, they're variegated. And I don't think any of it is yellow variegation either. I kind of went on a little bit of a hunt and I have different varieties as well. It's quite exciting, even though there's not many plants. So I don't know which one to start with. I'm going to start with the one plant that isn't actually variegated. Because literally, why not? Let's get it out of the way. Plus it's like super tiny. So I'll just go grab that. Oh, guys, it looks wet, right? It's it's not wet at all. I think just when my hair is not very good, it goes a bit like on the stringy side. It's not wet, honestly. It's just the humidity killing it. Let's try and ignore it. That's not attractive. That is just not attractive at all. Anyway. Okay. So the first plant I'd like to show you, it's not variegated. I didn't really know about it till recently just because I haven't really been in the loop. It's a skin dapsus. In case you're wondering. I think I've seen it here and there on the internet and I, I like the look of it in photographs. Didn't know if I was going to be catfished. Didn't know if it was going to underwhelm me in real life, but I'm, I'm quite confident that this one is nice. Let me know if you own it. But this here, it's tiny, right? It's tiny. So just get ready for it. It's tiny, but this here is the Skindapsis Platinum. Can you see on, yeah, it looks really quite pretty on the screen. Again, that's the packaging it was sent in. I haven't had any time. It's, it's been one of those weeks. So this is really, really pretty. It's weird because it kind of looks blue there, but it's, I wouldn't really call it blue, even though it is presenting quite blue. I would say it was more of a silvery, I guess it's got some blue in, hasn't it really? It kind of has. Yeah, fair enough. It's kind of got some blue in. I'll show you up close to the screen. Please focus. Please ignore the really bad tan malfunction. There, can you see that? To be fair, in the light, that's really pretty. And it does need cleaning off, guys. Honestly, I have literally just plucked this out of the box. So I know it doesn't look absolutely camera ready, but you know me, I don't like to do that. I like to just show things as they are, honestly. It's not very big. It's only about this big. I haven't got many of these in because I know that's probably gonna be the first question. How many did you get in? What are they like? I can't tell you. I got these in last night. By the time you see this video, by the way, I will have had them quite a bit. I'm having to pre-record this because I had a lot of videos coming up and a lot of editing and all that sort of stuff. So by the time you see this, I will have had it for a little while. I might have had it three weeks um, and I might be able to tell you more then. I guess leave a comment if you really want to know. But as of right now, I can't tell you anything. They appear to have shipped great. They feel very, very firm given that it hasn't been unpacked and it seems fine. So I did get a couple, not tons. And that's because, as you may know, when I order things in, I do a test run. So I don't order too many. I have to order more than one. So I normally order about five, perhaps two if it's really high value, but I do about five and I like to see how they do and I like to get a gauge on how easy they are. Because honestly, if they don't work for me in these conditions, they will not work for you in your conditions. But this seems to be going quite well. I will show you it once more before we move on because it's very, very, very bonny. I really like that. It's about as rigid as the Silver Anne, I think it's called. Could get that wrong. Um, it feels just about the same, so it's quite tough. And I think that's going to be a really nice grower. So let me know what you think. I know skin dapsis are kind of like getting a bit sexy at the minute. So there you go. Really nice skin dapsis platinum. 
If you're looking for an easy way to build and run your own website, then look no further than Squarespace. Squarespace is your one-stop shop to create your own website from the ground up using a selection of stylish and super customizable templates. It's so quick and easy to edit any one of these templates and make it your own. I don't know if you guys know this, but my website for the Red Plant Shop is actually built from one of these templates. While designing and editing my website, Squarespace allows me to preview what the finished edit looks like on different devices. And this is a really cool feature because what works for a web browser on a laptop doesn't always work for a smartphone. This way I can toggle between different previews and check to make sure my design looks great no matter what device I'm viewing it on. If you want to create a really sleek looking website, either for yourself or perhaps you're setting up a web shop like mine, check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Ellen, save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. There is a noise and I don't know what the noise is. I assume it's someone outside. I haven't filmed in the unit for a while and I'm not used to the level of noise. It's making me really paranoid that it's noisy, so I'm sorry. <sighs> can I do now? I'm going to follow on in the Skindapsis theme, guys. Give me one moment. Okay, this guy's a little bit squished together. I'm going to have to kind of part, part him a little bit to show you. But this here, I think, I know it's small. Let me just kind of move that leaf here and show it straight up to the camera, to be honest. Let's waste no time. Hang on. There. This here is a variegated Skindapsis. I believe it is silver and again, could be wrong. Feel free to correct in the comments. Look at that. But it's and again, the thing that's great about this and a lot of things in this haul is that it is variegated, but it is white. Because I thought, why not really? I've got too many um, yellow variegates in the shop. I don't have enough white, so this is me investing in some white. How pretty is that? Now, I can only assume that this is going to grow brilliantly because it's a silver ant and the normal version grows brilliantly. So I'm really, really hoping that this is quite nice. All I can do for now, to be honest, is to grow it out and just let it do its thing so I can get it big enough to propagate. Again, didn't want to get loads, didn't want to get a big one because I don't know how it's going to ship at the end of the day. But I had high hopes and I obviously took the plunge. But oh, isn't it nice? I think it's not you know, unbelievable eye candy example because one, the packaging is the way it is and two, it's, you know, small and whatever have you. But I believe, which one's the newest leaf? I can't tell. I do actually think this bigger one is the newest leaf, guys. But we will see because by the time it puts out another leaf on this side, it's probably going to do that half moon thing. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to grow this out and see exactly what happens. But you can't tell me that's not quite fit. That is pretty darn hot. I like that a lot. How nice is that, honestly? I'm going to bring it even closer. Can my camera do it? Yeah, yeah, it can. I love this lens, by the way. I can't remember what lens this is, but it's a really good one. It's a Sigma lens, I think. Oh, I'm going to get it even closer. I'm going to get it even closer. Let's have a go. Let's have a go. Let's really get it in there. Oh, that's a bit too close. There we go. It's probably as close as I can get it for you. How nice is that? That is my heater. Can you hear that? Maybe you can. Oh my God. You know what? That's too noisy. Give me one minute. My God, so noisy. Oh my God. That was weird. I literally turned it off. It immediately came back on. So I've had to flip the breaker to turn it off. That's nice. Sorry guys, I wasn't confident enough that that wasn't going to irritate y'all for like 20 minutes. So that's what I've purchased. It cost a bit. I'm hopeful. I don't see why this isn't going to grow beautifully. White variegation. Who doesn't love it? It's very nice. If you don't like Skindapsis, you might not care, but it's very, very pretty. And it's quite clear that even though there are silver parts on the leaf, when it is variegated, it is all variegated. So there you go. Skindapsis, I assume, silver and variegata. Right. Woo, the sun is coming out and it's even hotter. So let's move on with a Monstera, guys. I have a Monstera and it is a new Monstera. I've never had this now. I saw this and thought, meh, I don't get it, right? And then I looked at the green version of the plant and I saw what it looks like mature and oh my God. I will try and find right now a picture of what this plant looks like mature and then I will show you this because this isn't gonna look very special, but it's a waiting game, right? I'm probably gonna put this on a pole and see what happens. So this here, again, sorry, it's just been chipped. This is, I believe it is Monstera lanealata, 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 uh, variegated variegata. So if I show you this up, I've got a few nodes on it, which I'm very happy about. It's weird because the variegation is a little bit marbled. It's very odd. If I show you this, let me just move my phone. My goodness, I know it's a bit chaotic to do. Get that even closer, why not? There you go. 
My camera's struggling a little bit because it's very, very bright, but how nice is that? So yeah, I've got, <laughs> I've got leaves that have fluff all over them. Not the prettiest, just because it has been shipped, but I have such high hopes for this. Is that all white? Oh, you know what it is? This newest leaf here is all white, so it's probably going to need to cut sooner rather than later, actually. I will probably cut that. Let me make an assessment now. I think I would cut this mm, for ease, because I can already see a bud here. I would actually cut this plant here. So if I show you where I'm pinching where I would chop it, right? If you look at the leaf here, that's what's up. But there is actually a bud right here where my fingertip is. Sorry, my camera only wants to look at my face. Just trust me where my nail is, there's a bud. So I probably cut that just because that top leaf there, as you can see, is all white. So it should be fine. Sometimes it's easier to work with too much variegation than not enough. And I think when you're in doubt, go for like too much because you can probably work it out. To be honest, it looks a lot like um, Epipremnum pinnatum variegata. It just does. It looks exactly the same. But as I say, these things mature just look unbelievable. And I gotta try it. I just gotta try it. So that is Monstera. Laniolata. Very, very nice. Underwhelming at the minute. Let me grow it a bit. Can I like make my hair look just less awful? What happens if I just put it back? I look about 10 years old, okay. Ugh, that's so weird. Okay, I'm just gonna tuck it back and leave that long. I feel like that's... Is that like not as bad? It just looks like my hair is getting sweaty and honestly it's not. I'm not sweating in the slightest. It's just the humidity. Humidity just does weird things to my hair. How's that? Yeah? Let's leave it like that. So, next plant. What am I going to pick? Oh, they get quite exciting now, guys. Right, I'm going to show you this plant. It's large. It's awesome. It's not looking very good because this one did not ship very well. So, I'll show you that in just one minute. The next plant I have to show you, I do believe, is the Syngonium Chiapensi variegata. White variegation. It's coming off a little bit cream. Don't know how white that's looking on camera because obviously it's reflecting off all the lights and I've got like hot and cold lights on me. But I can tell you from looking at it, it's not lily white. Like, if I still got this here, you probably can't tell. You know what? That looks the same color now. Oh, no, I think you can kind of tell the variegation on this one looks a little bit whiter. For all intents and purposes, it's white, right? It's it's white. But it's just not brilliant white, like, for example, that skin depth is there. So, yeah, I'm kind of good because this has not shipped well at all. This is the newest leaf, though. They're kind of rubbery, these. They're not as thin as what you think they're going to be at all. They look like they're going to be very thin but they're not at all. That's quite a... I do want to say rubbery. It feels like a rubbery leaf. Now, I've never had this plant before. I don't think... I'm sure I did a rare plant index and I feel like the green version was in that and I didn't care. I can't remember what I said about it, but I saw it variegated. Voila. Sometimes it just takes that. It's not always about variegation for me, as you guys know. A lot of the time I will tell you that I prefer the non-variegated versions. I honestly think it depends on the plant. It just depends on the plant. This one... Variegated, looks great. You're gonna have to just take it with a pinch of salt because obviously we're not we're do not doing so well here. Is that the lowest leaf? No, it's second newest. If I show you this though, you can see what's gonna happen with it anyway. Stems look so much like a tie. It's not even funny. Look at that. Awesome, right? So that's one side of it. I'll show you the other side. Look at the variegation there. So again, I'm not worried. Um, you have to assume with variegation, especially sectoral chunks, that they're gonna just turn on you in the mail. Great example of it, of what happens when you buy a lot of plants with sectoral variegation and you ship them and they, they undergo a bit of stress. Perfect, and I mean perfect example, is what's happened right here. You see that there, that damage? That will happen a lot. And honestly, there is nothing you can do. Honestly, there isn't. It's just what happens. It tends not to happen to anything else. See, even on this one, you can tell it's taken some damage there to the variegation. It's not so bad, though. Don't get me wrong. This one's definitely been worse. Could have maybe been hit by some moisture if it's been pushed up like that. If you look there, it's possibly had some further damage, but that can happen. But is it sexy? Hell yeah, it is. As I say, that's the newest leaf, so we're doing quite well. This is going to take quite some time to uh, grow and get better. I don't know how well it grows, so if you'd like to tell me in the comments how much either this one grows or the green version grows or whatever, maybe we can work it out together. I don't know. But it's so beautiful, is it not? I mean... It's theoretically beautiful, right? It's still pretty. I mean, even some of this can look quite cool, to be honest. If you're in tea plants, you've got to learn to appreciate these things, right? Otherwise, you'll just cry if you don't laugh. So there it is. Really nice. Here's a head test for you. That is much bigger than my head. Don't get me wrong. I don't have the biggest head in the world. I actually have a very small head. I'm normally a child-size head. 
child size head, I'm a child size hat. I think my riding hat is like, is a zero and a half or something? Can't remember, it's tiny though, it is tiny. So really, really nice big leaves, but my head ain't that big, so. Let me know what you think. Personally, I think this one's gonna be absolutely marvelous when it grows, but let me know what you think of this. I'm gonna pop this down and let it kind of hang off my little table like that. Also, the stems on that have really good jeans in them, so I'm not even worried about cutting that as it is and letting it go and getting it really nice and big and beautiful. And obviously, of course, if I can grow that really well, then I can offer it in the shop at some point this year. I mean, I don't know. Right, okay, ooh, it's getting really exciting now. I think we should do a little interlude and I shall show you the one plant that you can't really say it's variegated, but it's a wishless plant, but it, it's cool. Right, and I banged on about this plant. You must be sick of it by now. I've banged on about this plant in color changing plants. I've done it in my wish list. I've done it in, you know, stuff that I want to see come back. I've done it everywhere because I love it and I found it. I actually found a couple. So I'm going to show you two because I couldn't decide which one I wanted to show you because they're both really nice. So just give me one moment to get these plants. And from this, I'd like to think if anyone has seen my videos recently and they are on the fence about this plant, this will be the decider for you because now I can show you them in person and they're not just on a photograph and I'm not doing any camera trickery, right? I'm going to show you them as is. Let me grab them. Let me stop talking. This here is the Philodendron Red Moon. And I have two to show you because they're absolutely insane. This is what they look like. I know I've been showing you pictures and I've been showing you basically kind of like that, actually, that one leaf there. And I haven't been able to show you anything else. Now I'm showing you them in person. I'll hold one up and show you it, then I'll hold the other up. So I'm going to start with this amazing one first because I know you all want to see. So Philodendron Red Moon. I'll tell you what I know. So this plant grows in a rosette-like shape. I'll try and hold it out for you a little bit. You can see some coolness on the caterpillar. You can see some awesomeness going back up on the petiole here if I just show you this up close. That's what you get on the plant, by the way. I've probably not been able to explain this very well in videos, but you get that, right? So uh, we will get onto this, don't worry. <laughs> but the leaves on these plants come in yellow. I think that's what happens. I think the main color is yellow. And I had to deduce this from photographs. I did own one of these a long time ago. As you guys know, I have never shut up about it, but I didn't document it enough back then. I can't remember how it grew. So according to Google and my kind of fan dangling around getting pictures, that's how it grows. Leaves come in yellow, but the cool thing about this plant is that you will get, as you can see, extremely red chunks. Now this is a little bit dusty, so you could argue the color would be a little bit deeper. Don't know how red it's coming off. Looks slightly muted on camera, and by muted I genuinely mean just a bit dusty looking. Um, but this is the kind of stuff that you can actually get from that. Check it out, let me just pull that back. That is what you can expect. Now, another thing is how the petioles and the caterpillars look. I don't know if I can show you a caterpillar because just kind of because of the way the plant is packed, but I can show you a petiole. Would you like to see this? Would you like to see this? Check this out. You see that? Tell me you could see that. Oh my good Lord, that is nice. Oh, that is so hot. Look at the back of that. Oh, if you are undecided, I think this is whether you will decide <laughs> whether you want one or not, to be honest. Really, really nice. So anyway, this comes in red. It ages down and I couldn't really work out whether the burgundy stayed. I believe it goes, guys. I believe that this red color will also go as well as the yellow. So I think you're going to end up green on the lower leaves. I can kind of confirm it here. Look, here's a green leaf. Um, here's a green leaf working up from the plant. This is still a bit lime in color. Uh, where's the next one? Where's the next one? I think it could be this one which does still have some red. I'll show you that up close. Don't worry, we'll go through the other one as well. Does still have some red there, but it's fading. Then you've got this one that was clearly, in fact, this is a great example. This one was clearly a half moon as well, look. You can kind of tell, if I show you the back of the leaf, you'll probably be able to go, oh yeah, okay, I can see that was half moon. And then here's the new one. So that is what happens. It's not for everyone, they're not permanent. I don't know the price that they have. I paid quite a bit, I'm not gonna lie. These are around, but I think you've kind of got to get in line a little bit. They're a little bit, I don't want to say hyped. That's not what I mean. They're a bit, um, how can I put it? They're having a second wind. I think there's been a time where people may have liked these and then they've been forgotten about. And right now they're kind of coming in a little bit. So you will see them. I think you will see people taking photos of them and stuff like that. They don't, they're not like elusive, but they're a little bit harder to get. But in my opinion, they're very good because you're always going to get this. This is not like, for example, you know, this that could revert. This is not going to do that. You are going to get this. I can't speak for 
how this redness kind of develops and appears and how much you're going to get. I don't know. I don't have enough experience with the plant. If you do know, please feel free to leave a comment for all of us so we can work it out, including me. But got to show you that. Oh, check it. I'm really, really happy. So the other plant that I will go over very quickly because I've kind of used that one to tell you most of it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at this. Can I just literally look at that? Oh my goodness me. I'll give it a little twirly twirl. That's what it looks like. Clearly, is there another leaf coming? Oh my God. So this is the newest leaf at the moment. And can you see there is a new one coming in there? Sorry, it will try and focus. Can you see that? And can you see how awesome the caterpillars look as well? I don't know if you can or not. Look at that. Ooh. If you don't like red or yellow, you're going to hate these. I'm not going to lie. You're going to hate them. But they are hot, are they not? There you go. Philodendron Red Moon. If you were ever wondering, I think this has decided. And let me know if you were either for or against and you've changed your mind or you're still looking and you still hate them. Let me know because I'm really curious. But that... It's philodendron red moon, and I am beyond excited. And which one do you think I should keep? Because it's difficult, you know, because this one looks hot, but this one's showing a lot more red right now, and that's kind of making me like it. I think this one's bigger. This one's smaller. Let me know which one you think I should take. I think most people are going to say this one, but let me know. Let me know what you think. What have we got? We've got two left. We've got two plants left. I'm going to show you the larger of the two plants, I think, and then we'll move on to the last one, which is it's relatively... Oh, I hate saying new because that's not what I mean. Of course, the plant has existed for ages, but it's new in terms of people start to want it. Make any sense? I know you guys know what I mean. Anyway, we'll go for the big one first. Oh, my hair is just not... It's not doing it, is it? It's not... It's not good. We don't like colours in the hair. Great. Quality of the hair, not so good. Anyway, you can see the tip of it in the frame. This here is philodendron green Congo variegated, not to be confused with any kind of chemically induced Congo. As you can see, this is genuine variegation. Why? Because it's patchy, it's a little bit more chaotic, and I don't think anyone's learned how to do this quite yet. So we are safe. This is an all white leaf, and it's got a bit of damage right there. That's a shame. Can you see that? You might be able to see, you might not be able to see. I have to cover my face. A little bit of damage here, but all in all, very pretty plant. Clearly, this does harden off to a white color. This is an older leaf, but the new ones, as you'll see, um, that, they might be quick growers if this one hasn't quite hardened. That is looking a bit greeny. Um, new leaf here is looking, to be honest, everything I want from variegation. It's a bit more balanced, this new leaf here. Really big as well, by the way. This is what I meant by it was the bigger plant. Um, so yeah, this will come in a bit yellowy and harden off. And I think if you've got one of these, I can tell by looking, if you're not getting that hardening off, I think you need to bump the light. By that, I don't mean sunlight. I just mean more bright indirect. Um, because that's that's about there now, the age of that, I think. But the best example would be... <gasps> Fuck. <gasps> Guys... Why did I do that? Oh my God. Please tell me that your heart sank just as much as mine did there. That was horrific. That was horrific. Oh, there was nothing wrong with that. Oh my God. Where's the little stump gone? Oh, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. I know y'all have been there. I know y'all have been there. Oh my God. I've actually got, I'm getting a hot flush because I'm so angry with that. But I guess that's what I was going to show you anyway. There's an older leaf that's hardened off. Well, I feel great now. <laughs> oh, for God's sakes. So anyway, anyway. So yes, when the leaves are older, it's juicing on me now. That's great. Just bleed on me. Just made me feel worse. They harden off to this color. So this color right here, I can now make a direct comparison because this is no longer attached to the plant. It should harden off anyway. If it doesn't, you need more light. Oh my God, I'm never getting over this. I'm never getting over this. Oh, I have to edit this as well. And I will edit it and I will look at what I'm doing and I will hate myself for it. I didn't think I pulled on that that hard. I really didn't. <sighs> I'm an asshole. I'm an asshole. Right, anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I'm slightly traumatized. Yes, philodendron, green Congo variegated. Bit of money, worth it. Not super, super white variegation, as you can tell by this kind of symptomatic thing that we've got here, but you can get it, keep the light up. If you're worried about low light and stuff like that, honestly, I would go for something more like this because I can't imagine that ever going yellow, personally. Could be very wrong. 
I just can't imagine it. The whole leaf is cold in tone, so I find it hard to get a yellow tone in there. Makes sense, a little bit like toner for her. I'm gonna put this down because I feel like shit right now. Can we like put it somewhere and just, just put it anywhere, just here, anything. Can we still see that? Can we? No, there, right? It's a reminder of how stupid I am, how stupid I am. Right, I'm not gonna do that with the next one because the next one's worth quite a bit of money. Let me just grab the last plant. I think I need to stop filming before I do any more damage. Right, oh my God, I'm looking worse and worse. Okay, stop filling with it, stop filling with it. It's not gonna get any better. So the last plant on my list is lovely. It's lovelier in person. Now I saw pictures of this plant online because it's starting to circulate a bit more. That's what I meant by it was new. It's not new, but it's starting to circulate again. Um, I saw pictures of it and I thought, yeah, it's nice. Right, it's nice, but I don't, I'm not totally taken with it. Seeing it in person, it's probably one of my favorites here. Second of all to the, probably the Red Moon, uh, the Skindapsis, and maybe the, the Green Congo that I've just fucked up, basically. So this plant's really cool, and it's got an extra cool aspect that I didn't know about, and I've had to see it in person to see this. So other people might have known about this, but I kind of didn't. So the last plant I want to show you is a Philodendron Wend Imbe variegates, I believe that is what you call it. This, sorry, but this is adorable. Let me really fucking gently touch this for you. So this, if I can just show you this leaf here. Oh, look at that. Oh. So it grows really quite slim, to be honest, if you look at that there, the leaves are very, very slim. So it might not be for everyone. Personally, most of the time, I actually do prefer more paddly stuff. I, I do, I like a bit more of a jungle vibe. That's just me. It's not to say that I don't like this and I definitely like this more in person. I've definitely been sold since having it in person. But the thing I didn't know about this plant was, because I normally just see it looking like this, was that there is a pink flush to the undersides of the leaves when they come in. And I had no idea. So if I show you, I guess you can kind of see on this one. Hopefully the camera won't blow it out, guys. But you see that? It's pink. Is there more pink as well? Here's pink as well. A little bit like a whipple way. I don't have one in here to show you. I should really plant one up here. Um, a little bit like that, but on the underside. So it's not really going to change much. Like, yeah, there's pink underneath this leaf here. And you can see it's a bit pink tone. I'm not going to sit here and say that there's no pink there. Please, can you please focus? There. It's kind of pink, right? But but not really. Um, it's more pink in person than it's throwing on camera. I'll tell you that. But it's, it's not. It's not much to write home about but it's a really nice feature that I didn't know the plant had. Now, more or less light might change that. I don't know, it doesn't appear to hang around because that looks like an old leaf that I'm not about to snap. I'm not about to snap. But that leaf uh, that's very white, by the way, can I just say, like very, very white, please focus. Yeah, that's that's a white, white leaf. So the old stuff has not, not a fleck of um, pink on it at all. If I get that up to the screen there, it's just white. Um, but some of the newer ones, Definitely, definitely do. Main, mainly this one. This is like the best one I can show you there. See that? Yeah, pink. So it's very, very pretty. I'm just not going to sit here and tell you that it's super pretty just because it's it's underneath. So you'll see a bit, um, but you might not see tons. I don't know. Maybe I need to look these up on Instagram before I'm bashing them for a really nice feature that, to be honest, I, I didn't know they had. <laughs> you can take what I'm saying with a pinch of salt here, but I really like this plant. It has shipped just like this. It looks like it's never gone in a box. I can't really see any signs of stress, to be honest. That's a lower leaf and it's still nice and green. That looks a bit stressed there, I would say. Can you say that? It's not throwing much on camera, but that looks a little bit stressed. There's some that look a bit paler, I guess. But how nice is that, guys? So this is philodendron. Uh, Wend, Wendimbe, Verigata, I believe. Um, yeah, quite sore after at the minute though. I will give my opinions in due course and if, if I find that I hate it or it's a nightmare, I'll tell you about it because I'm aware there are a lot of money and no one wants to drop money on these things if they're crap, you know what I mean? Um, I don't anticipate they're going to be, they look like they're going to be quite tough to be honest. And a lot of the time, a lot of the time, but not all the time, the way that they ship is a really good hallmark of how well they're going to be to look after. Not always, some things just ship and then they just turn around and die on you, but I can't see this happening, can you? It looks absolutely stunning. You've got to remember as well though, and I will say this about every plant here since we are now done, the all of these plants arrived last night. You will see this and it will be later, but of the day of I'm recording this, they arrived last night. So you can tell anyway, to be honest, because they look a bit, well, uh, one, they're in the packaging, but they, they do look a bit shipped, don't they? They've got that shipped vibe. This definitely has shipped vibes with like all the weird 
folds in the leaf and stuff like that. So they are new in. We will see how it goes. I've got no worries about the Red Moon. I have no real worries about this one, the Monstera Lan Lanialata. Syngonium's obviously not doing great. I have some doubts about this a little bit, the, um, the Skindapsis Platinum. Just because I've ordered Skindapsis in before. I don't think it was quite this one. It was something very similar and they just melted. So I'm a little bit worried about this. I'm not so worried about this for some reason, the Skindapsis uh, Silver and Ferragata. I'm just fucking angry at this Congo. Like, I'm pissed off. Look at the state of that leaf up there. I'm so annoyed. But I have high hopes for most of them, basically, is what I'm getting at. Right, I'll pop that down there. I'm going to go because I have a lot to do, and I'm really pleased to have been able to show you this variegated haul. It's been a long time since I've done just variegates, and I'm quite excited. I don't know why I've taken this weird turn, but I have. I'm quite excited about the things I have. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Please leave a comment on anything I've talked about, any opinions you've got. If you've got a favorite in this list, could you rank this list? Anything you like, just leave a comment down below, and I would love to read it. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. Below. and if you'd like to see any more of my content then please feel free to hit that subscribe button and hopefully in the future I will stop doing stupid things like this and I know we've all been there and I'm really upset because this was perfection that was perfection look at the state Ugh, so annoyed so annoyed anyway thank you very much for watching guys I will see you in the next one bye